Something about that work, 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 work. When you walk out, line, 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 line. I'm in the cafe, my ta 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 Join me, I deserve it. I'll let you know a few things that, as a semi free um, I've learned, and that kind of is. Some, something, I guess, that just doesn't dawn on people or um, people just don't think about because there is such a huge culture of, like, maintenance and, you know, uh, twisting locks and beauticians and locticians and all that stuff. Like, there's just a huge culture around that and not so much around free-forming or semi-free-forming that people just really don't realize that you actually can get your hair to form a, a dreadlock um, without twisting it. Uh, even my my own brother, like he had dreads for six years and he twisted all six years. And now that I'm growing my hair out, he's just like really shocked sometimes that I don't twist my hair. He's like, well, how did, like people don't understand how it works. Um, like how do you, how did, how do the locks form if you're not twisting it or manipulating it? And it's really, really simple. And if you think about it, it makes total sense. But being black, having nappy hair, the texture of hair that we have um, provides a way that it just naturally locks and just gets knotted up together over time. Um, washing aids that process and, and just pure time. Uh, so without twisting, uh, the hair grows from the scalp down into, if you're, you know, a year in, into the form block that you have already. But at any given moment, you're going to have hair at the top and at the root of your hair that is not locked. And I can just simply put my finger through this whole area of my lock is not even locked yet so let's see you can see like from here to my scalp is not locked all of this has locked though together so as the hair grows down um, gets further away from the scalp it locks naturally um, if you have knotty hair um, so I just wanted to let people know that, let you know that that's an option, um, not to have to twist your hair or not to have to twist your hair so frequently. I know people like the um, the cleanliness of it, like when you pull it back, because I know my boyfriend, like he constantly uh, back, not constantly, but some of the time he'll get a kick out of this just puff this puff that I have going on, which is all just new growth that's not locked. I personally love it um, just because obviously I like the look of um, semi freeform, freeform dreads that just are not neat in particular and, you know, very orderly. I kind of like the messy look and, you know, the. Wow, this camera's really not doing any justice. But um, I don't think my hair looks that crazy or that nappy or that uh, disorderly. Like, I don't have an issue with it at work. I know some people might want to do the twisting because they think it looks more professional. But to be honest, I don't think anyone notices much of a difference. I think the most significantly noticeable thing is that... Um, the lock size may be larger or smaller. I don't think people even realize like, oh, your roots and your, I could see your scalp and, you know, but I understand that's people's preferences sometimes. Um, but I just wanted to let people know who may not know that you can achieve dreads without twisting your hair. I've had my hair locked for three years. I've only twisted my hair once. I was maybe like a month into starting my locks and I saw how it looked and I just, I really wasn't having it. So I stopped twisting it um, after that 
and just watched it and eventually it locked and then it grew and then it locked and grew and locked and grew. Um, that's just pretty much how it goes. There's other benefits to not twisting your hair. Um, the flakes, the buildup, um, the time and maintenance that, and maybe even money if people you know, go to locticians to get their hair twisted or interlocked or whatever else they do. Pay people to do that. Uh, you can save yourself a little bit of money by not doing that anymore. Um, but like I said, your hair has to be of a certain texture. If it's really loose and straight, um, and you may not be able to achieve that, or it may take a lot longer um, to lock. So like you might have new growth like up to here, you know, uh, before it locks. But if you're cool with that, then, you know, I say more power to you. But I just wanted to let people know that because I get that question a lot. Like, even from people of my own race who are just like, how do you, wait, you don't twist your hair? Like, what do you do? Um, and I do nothing. I do nothing. You know, it's a divine action. It just happens. Like, my heart beats in my chest every day. My hair grows and it locks every day. Uh, I don't have to do anything but keep it clean and healthy. Oh, another benefit to not twisting in the long run, if you plan on um, having your dreads for a really long time, is that the root, you're not constantly pulling and twisting and griping at that root. So it's, it maintains its thickness, its fullness, its volume. It, all the hair is still intact um, and you are able to maintain really thick, healthy locks. If you have thin locks, like I said, twisting may not be the best thing for you. Um, just, you know, freeforming them. You can still separate them. Um, you can manipulate them however you want to keep the size, but you're not constantly twisting that root, um, damaging that root, um, resulting in a really thin lock that could potentially fall off as it gets heavier with a lot more weight. Wake up and nothing's wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. It's to me, I be 